What's up guys, Monthly Block of Cheese Review here, and today I have uh, another gift from a friend. So, once again, thank you, Jordan. But it's uh, Belgioso, Artigiano, Aged Balsonic, and Cipolline Onion. Now, I know I definitely butchered that pronunciation on the Artigiano and the Onion, but I uh, still gave it a try, so I think that's really what's important, that's what matters. Now, I'm opening it up, so this is from Wegmans as well. Uh, our local Wegmans right here and right off the bat you know you can see it's got a nice little side to it oh that's in the way there it goes it's got a nice little uh, color you know part of the wheel they just cut it right off the wheel I actually found that out from Jordan so he told me a little bit about this cheese which is nice it's always nice to not have to make a, any assumptions myself but right off the bat feels a little uh, definitely a harder cheese I can definitely smell the vinegar. Wow, I opened this up. Took me a minute to pick up on it, but it's there. It's. I bet this is going to be really vinegary. Um, biting right into it. Actually, I really like this a lot. So the first taste wasn't the vinegar like I was expecting. It was the cheese. The vinegar is sort of like an aftertaste, and even then it's just kind of on top of the cheese. Starting to get a little bit of that onion too. So that's nice. I'm getting a little, yeah, that's definitely a little bit of the onion. So, going in for another bite. Make sure I just didn't get a big piece of uh, vinegar right there. Yeah, this is definitely a good cheese. It's a, uh, how would I describe this cheese? It's sharp, I would say. Definitely a uh, sharp cheese. Which is, it's complemented by the vinegar, I think, at least. Uh, you know, other people might have a different opinion. Like I said, it is very hard. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is definitely something that I could finish in the sitting. And normally I like to drag out the cheeses, you know, too much and it will, you know, not feel too great. Too much cheese at once. But I definitely finished with it right now. This is a very nice cheese to snack on. I do think after eating a while that, you know, I had a, quite a few bites. The uh, sharpness starts to get, like, really set in, and you don't get enough of that vinegar to really complement it as much as it with the first couple bites. But ultimately, I think if I were to just cut a couple pieces of this off, eat it like that, I think it would be fine. I am going to get a uh, piece in the middle, because I want to know if it's just the outside right here that has the, uh, the flavoring, or if it's the entire cheese, so... want to go for the side okay so the side right here is where the all the like the onion flavor is but the vinegar is just spread throughout the rest of the cheese so if you want to get that oniony taste you go for the side you know you want to keep it with the rest of the cheese I think that that works out. The vinegar is just, like I said, it's all throughout the cheese. That's not a bad thing. I like that. I was hoping for that. Kind of wish the onion was in more places, but it's good. Like, it's a little hard to pick up on, but that's just because cheese and vinegar are just really powerful tastes on their own. Yeah, I don't have any problems with this one. I probably... Hmm. Hmm. Just because that extra sharp taste keeps getting in my mouth. I'm, I'm not a... I'm a fan of it, but I'm not a... Uh, not a huge supporter of the super, super sharp. I, I won't take points off for that, because that is that is me, you know, thinking I could snack on this like I wouldn't the others. But, uh, 
I'd probably rate this cheese about, uh, I'd say like six, somewhere between six and seven out of 10. Like it's, it's not perfect, but it's, it's a good cheese. You know, it stands out on its own. It's not, there's nothing wrong with this cheese. It's just, it, it's kind of there. Uh, I like it. I would I would definitely pick this up over some of the other options available, because it, you know it's an exotic, it's a unique cheese, but it still holds its own against you know the classics. So yeah, let me know if you guys think uh, I was wrong on this rating, and uh, have a good rest of your month.